What's up guys, it's Dan here with iCamper. We're here at Overland Expo here in Loveland, Colorado. Um, just gonna stop by, give you some intel on some of our new tents as well as some of our, our classics. So iCamper is pretty much known for our rooftop tents. We basically engineered the original kind of clamshell style tent um, and we're still at it strong with our Sky Camp series. We have it in two different sizes, one being the full size Sky Camp. This one's gonna sleep four people um, only comes in at 163 pounds, so it's super light, can go on most racks, most vehicles. Um, I've even seen it on a little Toyota Camry. Um, wow. Maybe not advisable, depending on what <laughs> rack we got, but it can be done. Um, and then if you're someone who wants to camp a little lighter, maybe you only have one or two people and a dog, uh, we recommend the Sky Camp 3.0 Mini. This is our best-selling tent to date. Um, it's just a classic. It gets the job done in every area. It has a lot of those creature comforts that you're looking for. Really great mattress, blackout curtains, good airflow, as well as our signature double FRP, um, the uh, hard shell on the tent itself, the shell. Um, and these are our two classics for the most part. These are where we recommend people start um, if they're looking to get into the rooftop tent uh, kind of game and get out there and camp a little bit more. Um, setup time on these is about a minute and a half when you first start. We're talking first time out of the box, take you about a minute and a half. Um, once you got it down, I've done it as little as 25 seconds. So, oh, that's super fast. Pretty easy for anyone. Yeah. 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 These are great. Um, let's see. Anything else we need to touch on for these? Available in two different shell finishes. One being a rocky black, uh, which is kind of like a bedline version that um, hides those scrapes and scratches a lot for those um, different trail marks and scars and things like that. As well as a glossy black version, um, which is going to be kind of like your metallic car finish. Um, which one will stickers stick to best? Stickers glossy? will actually stick to the glossy one best. You can also um, do like those stickable solar panels. It's the way to go. Oh yeah, we both on our rooftop tents have oh, yeah. solar panels. So that's that's the way right. to go. Cool. And then maybe a tent that you don't see here that's kind of like what we'd recommend also if you're looking to store gear on top of your tent is the X-Cover 2.0 series available in a mini and a full size as well. Um, those feature, the full size one features like a California king size bed. Whoa. Uh, 360 degree views, four big windows. Um, Maybe one thing to note on all of our rooftop tents, except the BDV, is that um, the tents are designed to be mounted so that the ladder comes off of the passenger side, um, and that's just for aerodynamics and ease of use. Is a, the ladder load bearing as well? Is that part of the setup? Yep, that's part of the setup. Um, the Sky Camp series itself can load up about 900 pounds when it's um, fully open, and most of that weight assistance comes from that ladder just because the extension panel comes off. Um, so you should have no problem sleeping your family up there, no big deal. Yeah, 900 pounds should get covered in your family. Yeah. Uh, is there a certain kind of angle you want to get with the ladder to support best? Yes, yeah, so we usually say about 70 degrees, um, just because on our ladders we have a like a tilted um, foot footbed area. Um, so then when it's fully out, it's a flat to avoid um, kind of stepping over. It's a little dirty. We got some mud here, but oh, we, all yeah. that mud. So you got that nice angle on there to make sure you're not slipping and falling in and out of the tent. What rail system do you recommend? Yeah, so our tents are designed uh, to go on pretty much any standard crossbar or roof rack. Um, we put it on, you know, like the CBI Prince Hugh racks, um, Rhino racks, pretty much any crossbars that can support the weight of the tent. Um, if you've got a Subaru Outback, we don't recommend those little aero bars or the flimsy ones. Oh, you're sure. going to need a little bit more bulk. So probably not the stock Mazda or Subaru right. little flimsy ones. You yeah. want to go for a real rack. Yeah. Exactly. So even the simple crossbars work too. Our mounting system is really universal. The two sides just kind of cinch around the bar um, or it can be mounted directly into T-slots as well. Sweet. Yeah. Well, this is good stuff. And then uh, do you have a new cooking system? Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the cook systems because um, we are known for our rooftop tents. Um, but we're also kind of expanding into a, a new category in terms of kitchen systems. And this is our Disco Series cook set. And what you're seeing here are gonna be three different configurations uh, of the same system. And this is a great modular kitchen system that features uh, a skillet as well as this sweet butane propane burner. Um, this is actually made by Kovea, which is another Korean company. Um, and it's super powerful, burning or doing your propane or your butane, um, whatever you need. One other cool thing is um, you don't need to use the skillet at all, but you can just throw like a coffee pot on there um, or a Dutch oven. And using it in these different configurations allows you to cook different things. Um, so we've been doing like steaks and corn over a fire. That's probably my favorite way to cook. Just feels like 
a good activity have, more so than just, just making a dinner. You're like sure. all hanging around the Wait, fire doing your thing. I'll come back uh, for a bit right now. I'll, I'll yeah, so this is about uh, 27 pounds when it's fully closed. Each of the components has its own kind of bag, like you'll see here. Um, this is the burner bag, and then there's one as well for the legs. Uh, and then separately, we sell kind of like carrying case to hold it all. Um, but one other kind of cool thing to think about is the skillet itself is a Mihanite cast iron, um, which means that it's kind of scratch resistant as well as um, you don't need to pre-season it or anything. Oh, nice. And you can use soap and water directly on it and you're cleaning it. You can use uh, soap and water on yep. the cast iron? Mm -hmm. That's a first. Yeah, so nice. it's super versatile. Easiest way to clean it, honestly, is just like pour a little bit of water on there Boil it off, give it a scrape, and then do a little soap and water. You're good yeah. to go. Okay, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Game changer. Yeah. So you can do any of these three configurations. Uh, kind of make it your own for whatever you're cooking on. Sweet. Well, I think you guys sent over this kit and yeah. the the table. So I'll get yeah. up into the mountains with these guys, test out here really soon, and cool. get a detailed video on that. Good stuff. I could talk a little bit about the BDV too. If you yeah, want. that's kind of our most recent tent we've launched. That's the one you're bringing back, right? Uh, it's all new. All new. Or, yeah, we're, I guess we're relaunching it yeah. in a sense. Um, yeah, I could talk about it. That's that's practical. So tell me about the, the suction. Real quick. I'm yeah. a big boat guy and I've seen these on sailboats. Right. Yeah. yeah, so this mounting system is from Sea Sucker. Um, they actually do come from a marine background. Gotcha. Um, these guys are both divers from the BVI. Oh, cool. So they, they get it right on yeah so we kind of just were like how can we make this crazy idea come to life without putting you know like an insane rack system that mounts there's not really anything on there that you can just like throw on a gtr it's, an, it's not really out there um so we work with sea sucker to kind of figure out a, a solution we actually drove on the freeway with this with the tent on um only went about 60 miles an hour just to be safe just to see what would happen and held up just fine uh and then this the tent itself is our bdv solo um and this tent is, it stands for Blue Dot Voyager, and it comes in two different sizes, the Solo and the Duo, kind of depending on how wide you want your setup to be. Um, and this one is probably pretty much our most modular tent in the sense that um, it has the most accessories. You can mount crossbars on top, all the stuff you'd ever want, your overlanding gear. Um, and the struts are super strong, so you're not gonna have any problem mounting up to 100 pounds of bikes, gear, whatever else you need. What's the um, weight on the tent itself? Like if yeah. So this tent itself is 130 for the solo, and then it's about 165 uh, for the duo. Manageable. Yeah. What about snow load? I guess being an A-frame, snow would probably yeah. be the same place. But. And it also has, um, to mention like water or runoff or snow, um, these struts are so strong that it's like, even sometimes right when you first get it, it's a little difficult to close. Yeah. Um, but it has these kind of like rain off um, channels that allow all the water to drain. Um, oh. out the side so no there's no sitting water on it that's cool because I, I have actually broken other companies rooftop tents because they'd have divots yeah and then it's like 300 pounds Holy of snow, snow. Yeah. i'm like <laughs> this <laughs> <Right>. is a coffin <laughs> yeah but not this one yeah so honestly we did over engineer a little bit just to make everything so strong it's available also in a diy build it yourself version cool. um so if you're one of those people that wants to get to the nitty-gritty nuts and bolts um this might be a good project for you we put one together in the warehouse in about three hours um yeah, really good, good fun thing. And then we also have it available in our Duo, um, which sleeps too. We just dropped a bunch of new accessories Whoa. for this. This features um, our Annex Plus room. This Jeez. is kind of just like expand your base camp, you know, have your table and chairs, um, good protection from the elements, that kind of thing. Um, and then this tent's got all the same great features as the Solo. Uh, it's just about twice as wide, so you can fit two people in there. That's fantastic. Yeah. Love it. I can see with this. Goes on to the mini. So we have a similar annex for the mini. This one's actually a little bit smaller. The ones that are made for the Sky Camp and the X Cover are pretty honking big. Uh, so imagine this, but maybe six more feet of space inside okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> this is a super cool lineup, man. Yeah. He actually has an eye camper. Cool. Yeah, one of our mini. Right on. A couple years old. Yeah. Yeah. Good and one stuff. of our guys, Wade, has a oh the Sky some series. He's got two girls we got them up camping about a month ago for their first oh, cool. time ever yeah they loved it they had the annex going nice yeah, yeah. you guys make very annex is cool it's just one of those it's just set, you got to stay stationary right yeah, yeah. that's the thing it's like if you want to be nice mobile to move around you can set up an entire other, you know, you have to yeah other, a little remote work office maybe yeah. all right oh yeah all kinds of good stuff well thanks for the rundown man looking forward to working with you guys yeah. in the future sounds good appreciate it take care yeah. Yeah. good stuff all right.